I've been modelling for seven years and I got in into it when I was away, just after I finished school in Milan. Um, I was there for my sister's wedding and my father's best friend is in the fashion industry and he was bugging me to meet this friend of his that has an agency and, and I just went along with him one day just to shut him up. <laughs> I have a weekend in Milan turned six months. So. Um, I've been modelling for like six years or something um, and I got into it through a competition called Search for Supermodel, which was lots of fun and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I've been doing it for the last year and a half. And my mom, when I was still at school, my mum sent pictures of me into the girlfriend model comp. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I was a bit really shy. And then, yeah, a couple of months later, then the agency rang up. I was like, oh, why didn't you come down? And we'd like to see you. that real beachy vibe. I think this season we just we tried to give a selection, give a cross, you know, section of what Billabong's about. Everything from like a cool sort of surfer indie feel right through to that sort of floral, you know, notes, which was really big this season. I think it's just going to be a good fun party. Lots of gorgeous girls and beautiful Billabong suits. And we'll put on a nice little parade and then afterwards there'll be a DJ and lots of drinks and snacks and for everyone just to have a really good time. I've been here for a few hours having hair and makeup. We've now our hair's tied up just to keep the wave. I kind of like getting out there in the spotlight. Just pretend it's all about me. And it's always different, it's always exciting. I like, I like seeing myself get made up to look completely different all the time. We're going to somewhere called the island. I don't know where it is. Apparently it's a barge. We have to be transported there. And then there's going to be a wonderful shindig that Claire put on. And we're going to parade around in stringy little bikini numbers. I feel like I'd like to get there and do this. I'm actually a little bit peckish. Um, and that's pretty much my feelings right now. It's very, very complicated, very deep, insightful feelings. We're, um, we're getting there, I think. There's um, a couple of girls who aren't feeling so crash hot. The runway is a little bit unstable. It does feel like you're more or less treading water out there. It's starting to feel a little bit seasick. It's all right. Um, I felt drunk walking down. <laughs> Had a bit of a swagger. Got to go downstairs soon and get ready. And yeah, I think the show's going to start about 7:30. We are almost ready. We've still got. We still have far too many clothes on. I think personally. But don't worry, that's something that we will work on in possibly about half an hour, I'm thinking. We might remove them all, get out there and strut our stuff with our new found sea legs. celebrating the Cleo swim issue with the help of the lovely people at Billabong and everyone is having a great time. A bit of fun, we've got tunes, we've got cocktails, we've got no rain which is the most exciting thing ever for me because it's been thunderstorms in Sydney all this week so it's going to be a good night. What an amazing location, the backdrop, the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House, incredible. The girls, the bikinis, that's what it's all about, you know, spring on summer. <laughs> 